This is the biggest news OpenAI ChatGPT has announced up to date. They are announcing ChatGPT Enterprise and the features that they're allowing to have with this option are literally everything I've wanted in ChatGPT. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details. So here we can see they are offering enterprise grade security and privacy, unlimited higher speed GPT-4 access, longer context windows for processing longer inputs, advanced data analysis capabilities, customization options, and more. Now, if you are currently using GPT-4 or you have never used GPT-4, you know ChatGPT in general, it does have quite a few limitations. And for those who of you actually paid the monthly fee, you know it is quite annoying that you can only get, at least based on prior experience, only around 25 messages at the three hour window, which gets kind of annoying, especially if you are actively using it to get responses. Now, obviously for the 3.5, the lower versions of GPT-4, it is unlimited, but if you know, you know that GPT-4 responses for at least majority of the current prompts that I personally have asked it were significantly better. So at least for the free option, it just didn't make any sense. And now we are seeing that we have unlimited. Now let's go look at why are they doing this and what happens if you are not an enterprise? You're not a major company. You don't want to spend however much money that this is going to cost, nor does it even have any use case for you to apply for this. Don't worry, I'll share with you some additional updates for people who simply might just be a small business or just an individual who wants to see more potential with the GPT platform. I'll let you know about that later in the video. So here's why they are looking at the enterprise area. Obviously one, it is more lucrative in terms of revenue, but two, they stayed here since ChatGPT's launch nine months ago. They have seen that over 80% of Fortune 500 companies have actually inputted their emails when they registered with a ChatGPT account, and that is their corporate email domain. So you can see here they have early users of ChatGPT enterprise industry leaders such as Block, Canva. You can see these other companies, PwC and Zapier, and these are just to name a few. So. Once this is obviously more public, more companies are aware of this new update, then I can see already a lot of more companies adding this to their arsenal. So here's one important thing to note. Obviously, if you are a part of a major company, data, privacy are major things to keep in mind, and they state here that you own and control your business data in ChatGPT Enterprise, that they do not train, bolded, highlighted, not, do not train on your business data or conversations and our models don't learn from your usage. And they state here that it is SOC2 compliant and all conversations are encrypted in transit and at rest. And on top of that, their new admin console lets you manage team members easily and offers domain verification, SSO and use insights allowing for large scale deployments into enterprise. So that's already a very good thing to have, especially if you are on the fence regarding the information and your data. So here, this is probably my favorite option for this, which hopefully they translate this over to the individual plan in the future, but again, can't comment on that yet. But here we can see most powerful GPT yet with unlimited fast GPT-4 and much more. So you can see here, it removes all usage caps. So if you are currently using GPT-4, you know the caps, that it can get very, very annoying very quickly, especially if you have something that responds with very long prompt answers. Guess what? No more caps, two times faster. And they included 32K context in enterprise which allows the user to process four times longer inputs or files. So that is pretty much stating every single thing that one, if a competitor were to allow something with similar options, but make it for the individual, then that could be a very competitive advantage, but I'm sure we can debate this in another video.
But you can see here, they also have unlimited access to advanced data analysts, which was previously known as the code interpreter, which I did cover fully on a previous video. And you can see this is just the start of the AI revolution. So now let's see some more bonuses on why this is a big deal. So here's George's comment from Asana. They stated that the enterprise ChatGPT has cut down research time by an average of an hour per day, increasing the productivity for people on their team. So I wish they would have stated the prior amount of time it takes for them to research. Maybe it would make more sense. But at least based off this, just one hour per day, that is not that long. And that definitely spread across multiple people on your team could save you tons of time. So again, here is a quick summary. Enterprise-grade security, features for large-scale deployment, and the most powerful GPT yet, unlimited access to GPT-4 new usage caps, higher speed performance for GPT-4, which is up to two times faster, unlimited access to advanced data analysts, aka known as code interpreter, a 32K token context windows for 4X longer inputs, files, or follow-ups, shareable chat templates for your company to collaborate and build common workflows, and they have free credits to use your APIs if they need to extend OpenAI in a fully custom solution for your org. Now, you're probably wondering, what if I'm not an enterprise major company? This doesn't make sense to me. Let me show you this quick comment. So this is from CNBC, and they stated that one differentiator between the enterprise GPT and the customer-facing version is that it allows companies to input their company data to train customized GPT for their own industries and use cases, which they did mention briefly in terms of that. But they said right now, some of those features aren't yet available in their current debuts. But they stayed here, this is the most important one, is they have also announced plans to introduce another tier, supposedly that they call ChatGPT business for smaller teams, but there is not a specific timeline. So it seems that AK that business most likely could be a single person in a business or just one, but for now, there's not any options yet. Until then, we'll just have to wait and see. So what does this entail for the future of OpenAI ChatGPT? Well, with this recent feature, this puts it out on top in my own opinion and for its competitors such as Google Bard, Microsoft, Claude, you name it, they will definitely have to create something of better value and make it cheaper in order for them to take back that market or else the enterprises are going to move over to ChatGPT, which it seems like a lot of them are already doing. So do share your thoughts. If they open this up to the public, the individual person, would you pay a premium for this? Or would you simply just use the other free tools? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe to see the latest updates in the AI space.